Autoimmune diseases happen when bad T cells attack tissues in the body. Psoriasis is one of the most common autoimmune diseases affecting as many as 7.5 million Americans. The worst part of psoriasis isn't the itching or the scaling, it's that it can prevent people from living normal lives. Many people often forget that psoriasis can be emotionally challenging. It can make you feel embarrassed, so much so that you go to extremes to cover up the lesions. Simply being in social situations can be really stressful. One of the main reasons that I started studying this disease over 30 years ago was to help people feel comfortable in their skin again. When we look at psoriasis, we see only the surface. We see the scaling and the flaking and naturally assume there's something wrong with the skin. But after years of study, we now understand that psoriasis is more than skin deep. It's actually caused by problems with the immune system. That's why topical treatments like steroids and coal tars may help, but psoriasis always comes back. To make it go away, one needs to target where it starts, and that's the immune system. Psoriasis, like other autoimmune diseases, occurs when certain white blood cells called T cells become overly activated and attack healthy tissues in the body. In psoriasis, they target the skin. When this happens, they send out messages that attract other white blood cells to infiltrate different layers of the skin, and this is what we call inflammation. But these T cells also send out other chemical messages that tell skin cells to grow faster. What you end up with is the characteristic red and inflamed areas where skin cells grow too fast and start to pile up on each other, creating scaly and flaky patches. So your skin is working exactly as it should, but it's the T cells that are causing the problem. Topical treatments can soothe the symptoms but as long as your body is making activated T cells, the psoriasis will always come back. The good news is that people with psoriasis have more FDA approved treatment options than ever before. And many of these drugs target these bad T cells. One of the newer drugs we're very excited about is called ustekinumab, or goes by the trade name Stelara. It works in a way similar to other psoriasis drugs, but it targets a different chemical messenger. About 60% of people who take ustekinumab will notice significant improvement in psoriasis symptoms within a couple of months. This is very encouraging, but this improvement is not permanent. Like every other treatment we have at the moment, the problem is that once you stop taking this drug, psoriasis returns. Ideally, what we want is a treatment that puts psoriasis into a remission that is long-lasting even after the treatment finishes. That is what we're testing in the PAUSE clinical trial being conducted by the Immune Tolerance Network. In the PAUSE trial, we're asking a simple question. If a patient responds to ustekinumab, how can we make this improvement last longer, perhaps even indefinitely? We think it may be possible to achieve this by treating with ustekinumab and then adding another second treatment called abatacept. The way abatacept works is to stop the immune system from making more of these bad T cells. And we know quite a bit about abatacept because it is approved by the FDA for treatment in rheumatoid arthritis and has also been tested in psoriasis patients. Patients who volunteer to participate in the PAUSE trial will first get two treatments with ustekinumab about a month apart. From experience, we know that this will reduce inflammation and create a temporary remission in many patients. And these people will then attempt to lock in this remission with a series of treatments with abatacept. The way we'll know it works is that we'll give abatacept to only half of the study volunteers. The other half will receive ustekinumab again, although neither the patient nor his caregivers will know which drug they are getting. At the end of the study, we'll compare outcomes in the two groups. If the ustekinumab and abatacept work together the way we think they might, the patients who received abatacept will stay in remission longer than people who received only ustekinumab. We certainly hope this combination works, 
But whether it works or not, we have designed the trial so that we will still learn a lot about psoriasis and how the immune system causes the disease and changes with treatment. The PAUSE trial is open to people between 18 and 65 years old who have been diagnosed with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis for at least six months. If you decide to join the PAUSE trial, you will receive physical examinations, laboratory assessments, skin biopsies, and psoriasis assessments throughout the study. All study-related care and treatments are provided at no cost. In all, your study participation could last almost two years. The most important thing to remember about volunteering for any clinical trial is that all clinical trials are experimental research. That means you can't know for sure if your psoriasis will improve. It also means that, like any medication, you could experience effects or complications from the treatments you receive. Participating in clinical trials isn't for everyone. It's really a very personal decision you should talk about with your doctor, your friends, and your family before deciding. It's also a very important decision, too, since in the future, others with psoriasis might benefit from the knowledge gained in this trial. If you think you might be interested in participating in the PAUSE trial, you can learn more by visiting our website or contacting one of our participating clinical research sites. On behalf of the PAUSE study team and the Immune Tolerance Network, I'd like to thank you for your interest.